Man, I am one sneaky son of a gun. Today, I'm attempting the impossible. It's the hardest challenge in all of filmmaking and it's rated level 5000 pro. And that is, I'm gonna be making a cinematic sequence by myself in direct sunlight. And I'm gonna take you along for the ride and show you the process and we'll see what we can make today. Let's go! <laughs> okay, where are my keys? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> How did I get in here without my keys? Son of a gun. Classic. Before anything, uh, I gotta go to Chick-fil-A because I'm an adult and I do what I want. Yeah, can I please get uh, some hash browns, a fruit cup, and a small coffee? Oh, my bad. It's all good, I got it. Oh, let's go! <laughs> I dropped the bag and it landed perfectly straight up. That was awesome. I'm dipping my film fuel in my sequence sauce. Getting ready for the action. I'm gonna be using three lenses. I got the one I'm using right now, which is the Sigma 11 to 16. I've got this Canon 100 to 300. And then I've got this, my favorite lens of all time, the Sigma uh, 30 millimeter prime. And this big giant ring on the front here is to adapt probably my most important tool today, which is this. This is my Polar Pro base camp matte box, but all it is is basically just a variable ND filter, completely similar to the one screwed on to the front of this lens right here. You don't need this giant thing. It really does exactly the same thing. The only difference is it makes me look like the boss. Because just imagine with me for a moment that we're out shooting and we run into another guy who's also doing the level 5,000 filmmaking challenge and he's got one of these on his camera, and I've got one of these on my camera. And who walks by down the trail? It's a talent scout from Los Angeles, and he needs help filming a, a video promo for Nike Got Air. And it's like, who are you gonna pick, right? Like, is it gonna be this guy, or is it gonna be this guy? But, you know, pick your poison. So there are literally hundreds of road bikers out today. They're everywhere and I've perched up on this little hill here and I'm gonna use my big telephoto lens to try and punch in on some of their pedaling and their gears and everything and sort of get, yeah, a little bit of the, a little bit of the road bike vibe for my Nike Got Air commercial. And definitely, definitely making this a Nike Got Air commercial. Okay, so for the next part of my sequence, I'm gonna have to get a little bit creepy. <laughs> I really wanna get some like up close shots of the bikes. And in order to do that, I'm gonna have to get like right on the side of the road, but I also don't want them to be, I don't want them to know I'm there. <laughs> so there's this tree down here. And I think if I sort of hide away a little bit in the bushes, I'll be able to get right next to the action without them having any idea I'm there. Okay, we made it to my spot. My spot of sneakercy and secrecy and they're so close. I'm gonna be filming like two feet away from these road bikers and they're gonna have no idea I'm there. So the plan is falling together immaculately. All right, team crazy. Here's the latest. I think I have enough footage for like 10 seconds, which is not bad but I'm running low on two things right now, which is enthusiasm and ideas, which are, which are pivotal tools for creating sequences. I'm gonna take five minutes and watch some YouTube. Hopefully that will give me some inspiration and kickstart my workflow and give me some more ideas. So, pause. I got it, we're back. Inspiration's back, motivation's back. We're going on a hike and so we shall go. My motivation boost uh, is wearing extraordinarily thin all of a sudden. The hike that I chose is like a mile and a half longer than I thought to get a shot that's not half as good as I hoped it would be. Um, but we're just going for it, still trying, looking for magic and uh, currently not finding it, but optimistically hoping that it's around the next corner. I 
I just finished up the hike section and I didn't get half as many shots as I was hoping to, which is a bummer, but on the way down, I thought of my intro slash outro slash voiceover section. So I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna get one more shot with my bike out here and then I'm gonna call it good and start editing. Okay, it's the next day. Um, last night I went and edited my 30 second sequence and it came out came out pretty interesting. I think I give myself a six out of 10 for filming. I think I really could have had more of an idea going into it that would have made the whole thing a lot more cohesive. But at the same time, I give myself like an, a strong 8.5 on the editing front because I managed to find somewhat of a narrative thread through all the random nonsense I got. So editing, not too bad. Filming, not the best. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching Team Crazy. I had a lot of fun making this. It was a good way to fill a day. Yeah, without further ado, this is phone call for Nike Got Air. I still, I don't know what Nike Got Air is, but it's not a shoe company. That's one thing it's not. It's not a shoe company. Cheers, mate. <laughs> I've been having this reoccurring dream where everything's perfect and it all falls in line. And in my dream world, everyone is always connected to each other all the time. But then I realized that none of it's real and that it's all just a dream and that I could wake up at any moment. But I try not to think about it because my dream world is perfect and every day is the same. Yeah, it's like no matter what you do, it's just the same great day over and over again. So whenever I can, I just sit back, relax, and enjoy my dream world.